hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here please do remember to hit that subscribe button and if you would love to learn to make this dashiki dress definitely keep on watching in making this dress you'll be needing the center back to hand measurement you place your measuring tape in your center back and straight up to the hand determine the length which you want and note it down the length the measurements we're going to be working with in this tutorial is length 36 center back to hand measurement which i just took now 16 inches waist measurement hip measurement is major that determines the the allowances you're going to live in in your outfits the hip measurements in this tutorial we're using 39 inches so you're going to divide it into two which will give you 19.5 and then you further divide into four that's 39 divided by four you have 9.75 inches and then you add five inches to that 9.75 inches taking into mind that one inch from that five inches is your same allowance so you fold your fabric like so into two and then you fold again into four so when you add five inches to 9.75 you have about 15 inches when you round off so the measurement you are inputting on your fabric is 15 inches or you can go with 14.75 so you can round off at 15 inches so you're going to fold your fabric into four and you're measuring 15 inches this into four measurement is a combination of both back and front pieces to start with before you input your measurement you draw a straight line across the fabric like so as a base for your measurements to be put in and now marking 2.5 inch inches for the neck and then the slit for the neck i'm using five inches four inches for the slit of the neck four inches this measurement right now is the back the back neck measurement so the measurement i'm putting down here is both back and front measurements but we're going to be cutting the back first before we come back to cut the front so this is the center to back measurement we're putting down you know it's already 16 inches so the shoulder slant the shoulder slope we're using here is 1.5 as against that's one and a half inches as against the regular one inch standard measurement which is lower than what it is naturally so the it will be sloping more but it's not your shoulder measurement per se this is the sleeve slash shoulder measurement center back to hand measurement so i'm just marking out connecting the lines of what we marked down before now i'm just connecting the lines the first one i marked is for the back neck this right here is for the front neck we have both markings there the shorter one is for the back the longer one is for the front and then there's the slit down there so now we're going over to the length of the dress which is 36 inches so when you're marking down you're going to mark 37 see right there one inch for your hemming allowance You mark your 37 inches and then you cut out
what I'm marking down right here now is the half length and the hip line. The half length I'm using is 15 inches and from the half length 15 inches to the hip line is 8 inches. And that's what I'm marking down there. Now I'm marking down the armhole. I'm marking down 8 inches for the armhole. So if naturally your armhole is 9 inches, that's what you will mark down there. And then marking away from the edge of the fabric. down to the full length just follow what i'm doing guys now i'm connecting the lines of the two inches from the armhole down and now from the bridge of the armhole that's from the shoulder of the armhole now to the end of the armhole you slant it like so that's not going to be a straight line it's a slant line And then you cut out just follow what I'm doing guys you get it see what we have there 13 inches as against 9.75 which is the hip measurement so we have about three and quarter inch added to your original measurement because the dancing dress is not is not a tight fitted dress so according to the line you have ruled that's how you cut it. When you get to that straight portion, then you cut it as a slant also. And you cut out the shoulder slope also that you have marked before now. If you notice, you see I'm cutting along the line in which I'm the sewing allowance left on top. I did. So if you are using if you are using a, a straight stitch machine, for instance, and you know you are going to stitch later and then you have to leave an allowance of at least half an inch what i just did there right now was notch i notched the the edge of the armhole so by the time you are stitching you know exactly where the slant started from so it makes it easy for you to stitch instead of having to come back to remeasure to take note of the armhole so you just give it a little notch i separated the back piece from the front piece so you arrange it properly because now I want to cut the front neckline. You need to do a root there before front and back. So I cut the back first. Now separated the back from the front piece. And I'm cutting the front neck slit for the neck. Note, I used two and a half inches for the neck line, vertical and horizontally. You know your neck is a bit as in the the um, width and the length of the neck so right now I'm cutting out a facing to turn the neckline so just cut out a pop and then place this piece on top of it trace out the neck line the shoulder slope and then just leave a reasonable portion of fabric in it so that by the time you turn it after you have stitched and turned inside out as it ought to be the um the fabric you use in turning it should be big enough so that it can stay on its own without having to stick out just in case you're not going to be using a hemming hemming glue for or hemming cut out like so now 
you arrange properly it is not well exactly what you have in, in the fabric is what you use for the facing the slit should be exactly where the slit for the lining and the outfit is so this part is turned to that three inches and for the neckline underneath i used um five inches but this should be totally dependent on you just make it big enough so that it doesn't stick out by the time you turn it inside out that's how you place to sew edges just like so then you turn inside out and here exactly the same method while cutting for the back piece the facing for the body cut out the pocket measuring eight and a half inches by eight inches remember you're going to be folding in both sides under on the top so over to the main outfit arrange it like so with right sides facing each other and then you sew the shoulder to hand measurement you sew it down neatly done i've gone ahead to weave the edges of the facing and the pocket so you arrange your facing like so right sides facing each other and then you sew just the same way you did in the main outfit open up the main outfit put the facing the right side of the outfit facing up and right sides of the facing as right sides together you're arranging right sides together you pin just to keep it in place and then you sew around the neck and the opening like so it has been neatly done you should have something like this and then you turn it inside out give it a good press you should have something like this on the outside and on the inside will be your interface then over to the hand remember you have a notch by the arm by the end of the armhole so you fold the hand like so into two and then you sew do the same thing to the other hand you have something like this it's a slant and not a straight line your work should be neatly done then you measure your one inch which is the one inch allowance you left from the beginning you slant the armhole to the same allowance like so so you measure your one inch down do same for the other side you go ahead and sew you should have something like this and then it's time to attach your pockets you're going to fold the edge of the pocket like so you stitch down stitch down you can decide to give it a double stitch just to give it that um, effect you go ahead and press like I gave mine double stitch like um, ready to made outfits you iron iron down the seam that you are going to stitch to make the work easier for you and it and so you turn out the back of the, the front of the outfit you arrange your pockets accordingly so you can determine where your pocket want to be but usually one inch below 
your waist measurement so if your waist me if your waist is 15 inches for instance your pocket should start from 16 inches so you arrange just make sure that the pocket is at the middle of the same near the side pocket arrange it properly and pin like so or through do same for the other side and so after you have sewn you should have something like this beautifully done beautifully done so you go ahead and fold the same under yes and sew round 